Hey there, how we doing? My name is Jennifer Moffitt. I am a certified health coach through the Dr. Sears Wellness Institute. And I love helping people. I definitely um, came to the table as a health coach with some of my own baggage, such as anxiety. So I wanted to share um, what we call a personal peace recipe and just go over some tips and tricks around that and talk about a little bit about, um, you know, some of the triggers that we face with anxiety and perhaps add to your toolbox today and give you some more tools so you can face that, okay? So, first off, 300 million people worldwide struggle with anxiety, so it's real, okay? A lot of doctors, psychologists, counselors, well, psychologists, I guess, are writing prescriptions for anti-anxiety medicine. Um, a few years ago, I um, was told I should be on an anti-anxiety medication, and I decided that I would do other types of self-care tactics to not have to take anything like that. Now, nothing is wrong with that. If that's what your doctor recommends, I'm just a little stubborn and I felt like there's some areas I could have worked in personally to combat that anxiety a more holistic way. So that was my choice as an individual and we all have that. So I chose skills over pills, okay? So, and I am a sensitive person. So I knew, I've known this for a long time. Anybody that really knows me out there knows I've been sensitive from birth, really. And that means I need a bigger toolbox, okay? So I have to work a little harder than some people. Some people are like dandelions. You, you can just keep mowing over them. They keep popping back up. I'm an orchid. I knew that early on, okay? So, and just keep in mind, anxiety can lead to um, stress hormones, to your on edge, brain fog. It can lead to some health issues, some health problems, if you do not combat that. Adrenal fatigue, a lot of people are talking about that these days. So, um, anyway, I am reading off some notes here, just so you know. So, one thing I learned early on is to re reframe, okay? So, reframe into a happy thought, okay? One of my happy thoughts, um, I used to live at the beach, and I would imagine being next to a dear friend of mine on the beach, watching the caps underneath the umbrella, watching the caps of the, the ocean waves and all that, the seagulls. That was my happy thought. Think about some happy thoughts in your life, and that's where you go. You're going to reframe that situation, okay? This is all toolbox. We're literally just, you're literally going to have a toolbox, an imaginary toolbox of skills that help you get through some anxiety uh, moments, you know, some anxious moments. Okay, time out. Uh, just like we put kids in time out, well, you can put yourself in time out. Do many meditations. Sit there for a moment, maybe do some deep breathing. Meditate for a minute or two. Meditation does not have to be an hour long or a half an hour long. If that's something you choose to do, do it. it but it can be in like, I'm talking two to a five minute mini meditation, okay? And you can always Google or YouTube uh, mini meditations, okay? All right. Remember, if you can't change it, don't worry about it, okay? I've got somebody beeping at me. Uh, <laughs> can't change it, don't worry about it, all right? So, not gonna worry about it. If it's not in my circle, not gonna worry about it, all right? Okay, so let's talk about some tips to get through the anxiety. So, um, be an optimist, you know, some of us are a little bit more pessimistic at times, especially in this world today. 
it's so easy to go there, but try to be an optimist, okay? So positivity promotes longevity. Just remember that, okay? That means you're gonna add more years to your life. Um, let your light shine. Never let your light dim for anyone. Uh, you know, just don't let them steal it. They're not paying, uh, what is the old saying? They're not paying rent to occupy space in your mind. I think a friend of mine told me that years ago. I'm not sure where she got it, but it's good stuff. And negativity promotes anxiety. Yeah, you're just feeding it. You're just feeding it. All right, go outside and play. I'm outside right now. It's a little overcast today. I'm not sure what it's doing in your neck of the woods, but it is overcast here. The trees are rustling. Oh, go outside and play and take it in. I have a lot of friends that love taking nature photos. Take photos if you'd like. Um, nature can heal anxiety. Um, okay, deep breathing. We, we kind of touched on that, but breathe anxiety away. Deep breathing, refresh your brain back so it's in back into balance. Because what's happening with the anxiety, folks, is it's out of balance, okay? It's not working right, all right? So there's a lot involved with the anxiety, all right? So, and then of course, practice attitude or gratitude. Um, do the I am's. I am beautiful, I am brave, I am kind, I am courageous. Whatever that looks like for you, okay? And just say it to yourself in the mirror. You can do it. All right. Um, oh, and then talk about things you like. Another attitude. Maybe write it down. I know a lot of people do the jars, the attitude of gratitude jars annually, and then they open them up at the end of the year or the first of the year. That's fun. Like, five things I like. You know, I love, um, I, honestly, I love cooking for my husband. So, there you go. That's something I like to do. I also like to get pampered. That's another thing I like. All right. So music for your mind. So personal anti-anxiety melody. So this really helps when you're, especially if you incorporate dancing. So you got the music, you got the movement. Oh, and that anxiety just goes away. Okay, try it. Even if you're in the shower, safely try it. Safely. All right, um, and then of course, um, you know, grow your compassion center. Just again, try to be a little bit, try to be sensitive, you know, and try to be open-minded, okay? Whatever that is for you. So I hope this was um, helpful to you. Please remember to subscribe below and share this with someone you love, okay? Thanks again for joining me, guys. Have a great day.